Okay, to store this unit back in the van then, just a simple reverse. And we need to remove the drawbar locking pin and clip, store that back in its hole. Take away the breakaway straps, which are no longer needed. Now then, winching in, a small amount of tension on the winch rope, just a small amount, just so it's under control. Release the locking clip, lift up the handle, and lift it onto the front runners, then you can let go. Make sure this is in the upright position as it's being stowed back in the vehicle. When the unit gets to the top of the ramps, we need to fit the extra safety strap. This prevents any possibility of the front of the trailer coming out of the lugs and it falling out of the van. The drawbar locking pins out, so we can safely winch up now. Standing in this position, ready to fit the safety strap. As soon as it lines up, there we go. That's in position now, so you're now safe to walk in front of the trailer to wind the wheels in. Again, we need power, so two pin plug, now we need to release these pins. So release them into, put them in the vertical position, like that. The wheels will then wind in. The yellow seg segments only will move. And when that part hits that part, that will push the black section in. And what you can do now is just knock these over so that they're in the correct position, ready for when you deploy the unit next time. The last thing to do is just make sure these cables don't get tangled up with anything. There we go, that will stops by itself. Remove the two pin plug for safety and winch up. Again, standing to the side, winch up and into the van. Just make sure you have enough clearance either side. When the wheels go in, just be a bit careful with this, it does go in quite fast. There we go, and the winch has now stopped. So, Tow ball cover on to protect your trousers. Pop the safety pin in. Switch off your remote control and switch the unit off. And that's it.